If you clicked on this video, you will want to know what a fine point is and why it's so often mentioned by musicians. One of my piano students actually watched this guy's video. He asked me, I don't understand. What does he mean with a pipe chord? I tried to explain it over chat, but it was a bit too complicated for that. So I opted for, I will make a video. Now I basically have to explain a little bit of theory. So, when you play a scale, this time you can call the letters C, D, E, F, G. You can also call the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and then one again, just as the letters repeat, C, D, E, C, C, D, E, also the, do the numbers repeat, one, two, three, one, two, three. Very simple stuff. So if you do this with chords, and you stay in the key of C, it's all white notes. C, D, E, F, G chord. So it's the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth chord. So in the key of C, this is the fifth chord. But I'm not talking about this kind of key, I'm talking about scales. So if you change keys, for example, to D, it will go like first chord, second chord, third chord, fourth chord, fifth chord. Just to be clear, the key of D has an F sharp instead of an F and a C sharp instead of a C. So all the chords don't contain an F or a C, they contain either an F sharp or a C sharp. So in this case, this is the fifth chord. One, two, three, four, five. The A is the fifth chord, or one, two, three, four, five. You start with the A. So A in the key of D is the fifth chord. If it's in G, Whatever key you're playing in, there's a fifth chord in that key. If you say the inversion of a fifth chord. So if you have a fifth chord, in F for example, the fifth chord will be C. You can of course have different inversions of that chord. C. Or if you go in D, the fifth chord, one, two, three, four. different inversions of this A. So that is what actually he mentioned in that video that my student was talking about. He mentioned an inversion of the fifth chord. Well, now you know what a fifth chord is and what an inversion of that fifth chord could mean. And I think he was trying to explain like this song. And then he, I think he used different inversions in the left hand. So if you have the one, four and the five, you can have like, this is a five chord still. watch my last video you will know that I will encourage everyone to practice inversions. Check out my last video, you can see all about that. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and that really helps the channel out. Um, see you in the next one.